morning, my friends. Welcome back to another podcast. I am excited to dive into some of my favorite new year planning tools or quarterly planning tools or whatever you want to call them. I know this time of year, lots of people are generally thinking about how to plan for the new year. And so I'm going to talk through some of my planning strategies as well as the tools that I use. There's three main tools and then there's one secret weapon that I use before I get started. I think planning and how we plan strategically can be one of our advantages. I believe there is a biblical principle around planning and being able to take account for how much it's going to cost to get things done, whether that is time or resources or effort and other things. And I think there is also uh, biblical principles for submitting those plans to God. Uh, scripture says in Proverbs that man devises his way, but the Lord directs his steps. And so we take the wisdom that God gives us as Christian business owners. We make the plans that we can make as far as we know what to do with the, the wisdom and discernment we have. And then we submit them back to the Lord and say, Lord, Here's what I'm going to do with the best that I know how, and you have the liberty to change it. Show me what you want me to do. Is there a different way? Is there a better way? Do we keep going this way? Like constantly going back to him as the owner of the business to get my direction as CEO for the plans that we have laid and being willing to change them, being willing to flex them when and if the Lord says to change them. And so I'm going to share with you three of my favorite planning tools today. But before I do that, there's something that I always do prior to New Year planning, especially. This, this could be done quarterly as well, but I especially like to do it at least at the new year. And that is the clarity assessment. And I've got a link in the show notes for you to go ahead and grab that, theflamingoadvantage.com forward slash clarity, uh, or head over to the show notes and click the link. Nice and easy, but the clarity assessment goes through uh, seven different areas of our life, not just our finances and our business, but also our family and our faith and other things. And it asks very pointed questions, deep questions. This is not just rate it one to 10. This is like open-ended, dive deep. And of course, you don't have to share it with anybody. You don't submit it anywhere, but it just helps me to go through all these areas of my life at least once a year and really do a deep dive internal look at where I am. What if I I accomplished in the last year? Where do I want to be by this time next year? What needs a, what needs a refocus or a realignment in my life and in my business and my relationships even? And then from there, that helps me to align what my goals or my commitments are going to be for the next year and be able to make progress with the planning. And so if you want that clarity assessment, we're giving it to you for free. It's a download. You can you know just write in your own journal looking at it, or you can print it off and fill it out, whatever works best for you. But you want to grab that over at theflamingoadvantage.com forward slash clarity as our gift to you to help you be more successful this year in setting your goals and commitments for the new year with a good foundation. Now, the next thing that I do when I'm starting to plan Plan my new year or my quarter because we plan we we generally plan quarterly at the beginning of the year I will look at big picture all year and I've got a, a couple of tools for that that I'm going to share and then we dive deep into the quarter and we plan really better quarter by quarter keeping in mind those bigger long-term goals and so the first thing that I do is I grab my nifty five-year planner and for those of you that can't see me because you're listening on audio if you go to Amazon and just look up this year and then five-year planner. So whatever year you're listening to this, type in 2024 five-year planner. And what this is, it's basically just a series of one-month spreads on two pages at a time where you can map out the next five years of your life or your business. And the reason that I like this, of course, I've got all of our Flamingo stickers on the front of mine. I love stickers, if you didn't know that already. Um, but the, the reason that I love this five years is that I'm not always just planning by the quarter. I'm looking ahead. Sometimes things come up that we have to plan for next year. For instance, we've got, um, we've got an event on the calendar now that is 13 months, 14 months out. And the, really, the further you get into business and the, the more you collaborate with other people, whether that's as JV partners or speaking or attending different events, hosting different things, the more you have to plan in advance. And so I use this um, and I put business things in here, travel things in here, family things in here, anything I know I'm going to have to remember 
to plan around in the long distance future, I put into here. And then once we get down to about like one year left in here, then I get a new five-year planner and move everything into that one. So these are pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll put the link in the show notes if you'd like to get one, but they're just easy to find. Just look up five-year planner and go for that. So I pull out my five-year planner and I'm looking at what do we have going in the new year. And that helps me to plan what's in my calendar. The next tool that I use is actually a giant wall calendar. And so if you're listening to this, I'm unfolding a big, what is it? 36 inches by 48 inches wall calendar and showing the people who are watching this on YouTube. You may want to watch this on YouTube today, by the way, just to see what I'm talking about. And you can find that link in the show notes as well. Um, but this is a big like 36 inch by 48 inch wall calendar. And what I do with this is I put family dates on here first. You'll notice I've got different colors on here that mark different things. So first off, I get out that five-year planner and our birthday calendar and things like that. And I mark on there family stuff first. Why? Because my business lets me do that. I wanted to have a business to help our family. I wanted to be able to put our family first. And so when I'm doing my planning, family goes on the calendar first and we do life and business around what's most important to us. And so you may do it a different way, but that's just what we do. And so birthdays, I try not to travel on birthdays or at least travel with the birthday child uh, if that's the case, but those are super important to us and we don't want to, to plan things that would jeopardize that commitment. And so those go on the calendar first. And then I use a different color and I plan for the things that our business is hosting. And so these would be things like our annual market Christian marketing retreats. And so those go on the calendar next in a different color. And then the things that I'm uh, paying to attend, so like my mastermind meetings, the things that I'm paying to be a part of where there's any kind of a virtual event or a live event I have to be in or speaking engagements that I'm being paid to be at, those kind of things go on there next. And then the personal development things, like any classes that I'm taking or things like that. And then we're able to plan our other things around that. We're able to, to plan in things. Those are the most important. And every, everything has its own color. So we know when we're traveling, when's a birthday, when's a professional development thing, when's something that's ours, when it's for something we've signed, uh, signed up and paid to be at. So um, that helps me see. That goes on a wall in my office, and I can see it. Uh, anyone who walks into the office can see it. And it's sitting right here behind the camera where I'm looking into to, to talk to you. But that way, anyone can walk in and see what's going on and what's coming up. And we can make plans. Somebody, somebody says, hey, we got an invitation to whatever. Or what if we went and did this? And we look, go and look at the calendar and make sure there's no conflicts. And that big at a glance really helps everyone on our home team be able to stay organized and know what's coming and not be surprised by things. The next thing... Oh, and let me tell you another another little extra bonus uh, tool that I use are these little stickies. You might have been wondering, what do I use to put the colors on there? You can actually write on them. Sometimes you can get those wall calendars that are like right on wipe off and use them multiple times. I've also seen like big whiteboards with calendars on them that you could do that. But I like to use one of these every year so I can fold it up and put it away and it just becomes like a... a I don't know if it's probably a dust collector, but for me, it's like if I ever wanted to go back and look at what we did when uh, two years ago, I could pull out that wall calendar and see it really easily. But I use stickies, like sticky tabs that you would use in a notebook or a journal or a book that you're reading. And those become the different colors that I use on my space. If you find them at the right size, they're about an inch and a half long, and it's just about the right size to fit across one of those calendar squares on that wall calendar. You know, they usually come in a pack of six or seven different colors, and there you go. One color for family, one color for business, one color for things we host, one color for personal development, etc. And they're sticky, so you can take them on and put them off, and it's not permanent like ink or a marker would be. You could also use a marker or something. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, but that's what works for me, and I love these little stickies, maybe because of stickers. I don't know. Anyway, then the last thing that I use for planning, and this is where I get down into quarterly planning, and if you haven't read The 12-Week Year, I highly, highly recommend The 12-Week Year, um, but when I read The 12-Week Year and it made sense to me and I started trying to do it, I couldn't find a planner that worked for me. Planners were usually dated like 8 to 5. I never work 8 to 5. I don't know any other entrepreneur who works 8 to 5. That's why we build a business so we could work whenever we wanted to, right? And sometimes that means 5 to 10 at night. And sometimes that means 5 to 10 in the morning. And anyway, I wanted a planner 
planner that was more like me. And so I created the Flamingo Business Planner. And again, if you're watching, mine's got flamingo stickers all over it. But this planner has a 24 hour schedule on every day of the week. So I can actually map my day by the 24 hour schedule. It's also got end of the week, end of the week reviews so that I can review what went well, what didn't go well, what needs to go differently, what's my focus for the next week, what's the most important thing to accomplish. It's got places for notes on the side. It's got um, places for your today's most important task. It's got things that um, things to know, something that you're grateful for every day. It's got two one month spreads at the beginning of every month so that I can have one calendar for business and one calendar for family if I want to. Or one calendar for clients and one calendar for other things. So I just really love this. And at the beginning of it, it's also got a place to put goals for the year, goals for the quarter. So you've got them at a glance at the beginning of every quarter's notebook and, and planner. And so I keep this on my desk. Sometimes I will cut off the edge um, because we could only get them printed as this soft bound book, but sometimes I will actually cut off the soft binding and put it into a spiral so that it will lay flat. But I keep that on my desk and that becomes my daily planner and my daily to-do list and keeps me on track. We have been able to hit our goals, 80% of our goals every year for the last three to four years by using this system. The five-year planner, the big wall calendar at a glance, the quarterly Flamingo business planner, and really getting clear on what are my priorities and what am I focusing on and giving ourselves those goals that then become commitments as we map out the steps to reach them. And so we set a goal for the year, we break that down into what has to happen each quarter. And then with the quarter goals, we break that down into what has to happen each month. And then in each month, we give those what has to happen in that month. We actually put it on the calendar, give it a date on the calendar, make an appointment with ourselves, and then we keep our commitments to ourselves, keep those appointments. And that's how we get stuff done. So I hope that that's helpful for you. We'll have links to all these resources in the show notes. It's been a little bit more practical today. And uh, let me know if you enjoyed that. And uh, if you try out any of these resources, I'd love to hear how they work for you as well. I hope you have a wonderful start to your new year. God bless you guys. Your message matters. We'll see you in the next episode.